Breaking news, Eyewitness News reporter Shantae Lands is live in Mount Laurel where that possible tornado hit. Shantae, what kind of damage are you seeing out there? Well, Joe, I can tell you that high winds lifted an employee's car in this business park and threw it straight into the far end side of this building. The entire section of this business park had to be evacuated. The inspector for the building just arrived to make sure the structure is okay. I spoke with the owner of this business where the car went through. It's called Castle Windows. About 30 employees were inside at the time. The company, I've learned, has been there for 25 years, and the owner says he's never seen anything like this. So I was walking out of Produce Junction on Route 73 in Maple Shade, and there was just a big funnel cloud spinning and uh, turned into be three of them and dropped down to be one and looks like it flipped the car over behind me. Dramatic video of high winds lifting an employee's car and throwing it into the front glass wall of a company called Castle Windows in a business park in Mount Laurel near I-295. Dark clouds and what appears to be a funnel cloud lingers over Route 73 in Maple Shade. Mount Laurel Fire Department also shared video of the stormy weather on its Facebook page. Crews from the National Weather Service arrived to survey the damage. But we look, we try to see what all damage happened. Uh, in this case, the car was being towed away. But we, that was a good damage indicator to look at. Um, we saw some roof damage as well. Inside, there was some damage uh, to the roof tiles. And we look at that just to see how strong the tornado, if it was a tornado. And crews with the National Weather Service say they should know within the next few hours whether or not a tornado did in fact touch down here. The good news, though, is that no one, none of the employees or anyone else in this business park was injured. Reporting live in Mount Laurel, New Jersey, Shantae Lands, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Shantae, thank you. We'll have more on weather coming.